Hey, so today I'm going to talk about something I'm learning is um, how to be comfortable in yourself. Because some of the thing that I've been doing is I've been reading some self-improvement um, books and um, in a couple forums. That's a weird notification. I'm filming with my phone and there's a weird fucking notification that doesn't really make any sense. Um, and um, I get in the habit of of acting like I don't have my act together when I do. Like when somebody, when like a book tells me a suggestion or somebody in a group tells me a suggestion or even, not even just a suggestion, but says something, says that they're doing something in a certain way. Has a, has like a, a like, oh my God, this is like cool. I've been doing this and it's great. And I'm immediately like, oh, I'm not doing that. I must be fucked up. Like my life, the way I'm doing things probably isn't perfect or I'm not doing things right. And it just, it's, it's funny because like I, I have achieved a lot in my life and I am in a place in my life where um, I have goals and I have things I want to achieve and I'm working towards them. Um, but I have some, I have some achievements under my belt. Some pretty cool achievements too. And it's kind of silly for me to be like, to be, to completely throw out everything I've done the instant somebody shares something slightly different. Because it's like, well, what, my fucking, like, the way I do things isn't fucking enough. Like, what, 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 who says that that has to be true? Who says that, like, for instance, um, I am a very passionate person. And I was actually on a live call with a group that I'm in. And... Um, I was talking about like, well, I kind of talk over people. Sometimes it goes as far as steamrolling, but often it's just me talking over people because I'm passionate and it's not, not that talking over people isn't right because it's the same thing as steamrolling. Sometimes I am very passionate and talk a lot and talk enthusiastically and that... And I'm like, well, how do I make the conversation more even, more equal? And I'm like, and then the, the, the like we, there was the guy, the, um, the leader, the guy who created the group, he's like, well, why do you have to? Like, if you're not steamrolling people, yeah, you should probably try not to steamroll people. But if it's just you being passionate, just fucking be passionate. It's a personality trait. Like, I don't want you to become just a round circle. Like, I don't want you to, 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 to buff off all your rough edges. <laughs> trying to be perfect and then you become perfect and now you're fucking boring. Like you have a personality and it reminds it's like, it's kind of silly because I have been trying to buff off my rough edges and I have been becoming a lot more boring because rough edges. Yeah. I mean, some rough edges are polarizing. I wouldn't say you have to be a hundred, like super polarizing. It's it. I think life is better if you're polarizing to an extent. I wouldn't say you have to be super polarizing. I think being a little bit polarizing is good in life. But when it comes to, like, do you have to be, like, agreeable? And I think you really shouldn't try to make everybody like you. But even further than that, when somebody else, when there is, like, a should, a societal should, or, like, somebody else is saying, this worked for me, and you immediately abandon the way you do things in order to do, in order to follow that other thing, it really shows a lack of confidence in your own way of living. And that's something that I have to deal with is that like, I have a core belief that I'm not enough and that the way I do things is not enough. And that's just, an, that's just goes back to my core belief of like, I'm flawed. I'm not enough. And that's, first of all, it's not true. Um, and admitting it here is a great step towards me getting over it. But I, I hope that sharing this with you helps you potentially see that maybe you have a similar thing in yourself and that also is the first step towards getting over it. And then also you see into my journey. This is a passion unchained journey. And I decided, you know, why can't I be vulnerable here? Why, why do I have to appear perfect? I can't, I shouldn't, it shouldn't be that I have to appear perfect. I created this channel to share my journey, not just, not just the, my perfections. So um, that's something I'm working on right now. And I wanted to open up the window into that. And I'm curious, what are the things that you're working on mentally? Are there any blocks to your you living a life that you want 
in your mind that are bothering you. And then if I have any experience or any advice or any resources, if I don't know myself, I could give you so like a book or like a website or a forum or blog or whatever. Um, what's getting in your way that would be helpful if you removed it? So subscribe if you like this. And like if you like this, subscribe and share to a friend on uh, Snap Text or Tic Tac or whatever you kids use nowadays. And till tomorrow.